Hello. Uh, today I have a job where I have a bunch of uh, two and three quarter inch diameter turn ground and polished shafts and I need to drill an um, inch and a half diameter hole in from one end, just about seven inches. Um, these are about half of them. The other half is over here waiting to be drilled. One's been done already. Um, the reason I wanted to show it was, uh, it was my first um, time using a spade drill bit. Um, I posted a video probably a couple months ago. I was doing a bunch of drilling because uh, drawn over mandrel tubing had gotten so expensive, it was cheaper to drill out solid. Um, I was using twist drills and uh, it was a bit of a pain in the ass. Um, you're spraying coolant from the outside onto them. It's horizontal. You're never sure if the coolant's actually getting down to the cutting edges or not. Um, and you get long stringy swarf and it comes out and wraps around the drill bit and it bats your coolant hose out of the way. And um, it was just, it was uh, frustrating and fairly slow because you constantly have to start and stop the feed. You often have to shut the spindle off and clear the swarf off, resetting the coolant hose. It was a, uh, a pain so I had seen um actually Josh Topper had uh, shown his spade drill I he was using it in his lathe and it was pretty impressive how it drilled and I saw a few more videos and they looked pretty good so I thought well when this job came up I have 24 of these to do I thought this is a probably a good candidate to get started into spade drilling so I bought a spade drill and the coolant inducer <clears throat> so that the uh, because these uh, feed coolant out of the end which is nice especially in a horizontal application like this you know the coolant is getting to the cutting edge it also helps to flush the chips out um, but anyway so I got that with the coolant inducer and I just made up a hose here uh, to do some air quick couplers I had left over from when I ran airlines in my shop um, and I've done about three of them. I uh, was a little nervous when I first started and I didn't want to be trying to film my very first hole. I didn't want to bugger something up and wreck the spade drill. So this will be my fourth one. And uh, it's, um, they're really good. <laughs> uh, I'm really impressed. And I think, uh, I think I may do more spade drilling in the future. But uh, anyways, I'll uh, get set up here and we'll drill a hole. This is the cutting data sheet uh, for the spade drill I bought. I'm in uh, medium carbon steel. I believe it's 1040, 1045. I'm gonna assume I'm roughly about halfway in the hardness range is probably a good guess. It's saying I can run it around 140 to 150 feet per minute which on my chart for inch and a half put me at 315 RPM. I'm actually gonna go about 200. I'll go just a bit more than half what they're recommending. Um, this is already so much faster than a twist drill and I'm hoping to make the insert last longer if I don't run it quite as fast. Um, the feed rate, for this is approximately 18 to 19 thou per rev. I have either 14 or 19 and seven. And um, this, when I was running at 14 and six, when I first started, I was getting some long chips out of it. So I upped it to 19 and seven, which is a little higher than they recommend, but it seems to work really well. The chips break uh, really good, which is what I'm hoping for, or which is what I wanted. So. So I'm running this at uh, 200 RPM and 0.5 millimeters per rev, which works out to 19 and 7 tenths per rev. And I'm going to a depth, this is my depth here, um, of six and three quarters.
over an inch already. diameter almost seven inch deep hole that uh, I'd probably only be in about an inch and a half of the twist drill right now well, the insert still looks it's hard to focus but the insert uh, still looks like new That's the hole. The hole's about six and three quarters deep. That's what I want. It's, uh, I have to say I'm very impressed. Um, that's so fast and this nice small curled swarf is easy to deal with. It doesn't get wrapped around stuff. Um, yeah, it's, uh, it's quite a step up from a twist drill. In fact, uh, the bottleneck now is the amount of time it takes me to change the, uh, part over. And even though that doesn't take that long, it still probably takes two and a half times as long to change the part as it does to drill it now, which was, uh, unheard of before. Anyways, I'm very impressed and I think I'll, uh, I'll probably be doing more spade drilling in the future. Thanks for watching.